Alexis. Hey, John. So what we know so far, can you still hear me? We've got you, Alexis. Okay, just making sure. So what we're what we're checking in on right now is getting from sources um, who are on the ground that they're looking for a second car possibly involved. So that plays into this ongoing search in the preliminary stages at this point with also trying to shut down all the bridges and evacuate the government buildings in and around Buffalo and there near the Canadian border. So as they continue to look for what they say, according to these sources, is a second car possibly involved at this time. So going back through what we know also, John, as you mentioned, we don't know exactly where this vehicle is coming from or came from before this explosion. But what we do know is that it was full of explosives, according to those high level sources. We know two men in that vehicle are dead. That includes the driver and the passenger of that car. And then we're going to pull up these photos. I don't know if they're up right now, but you can take a look at exactly what that aftermath, right, looks at that explosive site there near the CBP headquarters and area near the Rainbow Bridge. There's pretty much nothing left of that vehicle. So when we've tried to get some information on really even the make and model, what the license plate was, they have no clue at this time to give that information because it was destroyed there in that explosion. I asked if these two people in the car were known to police. I'm told that's going to take a while to figure out who even this, these two people were because they were inside of the car when it exploded. So they're trying to piece everything together at this point and say it's going to take days possibly to identify these people. Sources telling us with this happening on the holiday here, um, this is a big concern for safety and security across the country, not just in Buffalo, but, uh, you know, across the area. We know there's going to be big crowds of people coming here to New York City for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And we've already been told by sources here on the ground, like the NYPD will re remain on high alert that it's a concern concern that there's going to be these protests happening and then also these large crowds gathering. This is interrupting all that travel at this time, but a planned terrorist attack, according to high-level police sources who are on the ground and familiar with the information. We know Governor Kathy Hochul from New York is going to be there in Buffalo trying to piece this information together so she can let people in the area know because a lot of people already from hearing what the FBI director just said the other day, right, John and Jillian, they already have yeah. a heightened awareness and are nervous that something could happen at any place at any time. We're hitting, you know, nearing that holiday weekend with all the bridges closed there. We also know a Border Patrol officer was injured after this explosion. I'm told they're not serious injuries. Um, but as for what types of explosives were in the car and how much planning went into this, that's still to be to see, be seen here. Two witnesses on scene, Alexis, this according to the Niagara Gazette, uh, say that they heard a very loud noise that sounded like an explosion. They then saw a very large cloud of smoke near the inspection station where this went down. We saw some video, we've seen some video online of massive fires breaking out on the scene there. Are you hearing anything about uh, efforts to contain uh, the, the fallout from the explosion itself? Yeah, Jillian, well, after that massive explosion that people heard from pretty far away, I'm told they got as many emergency crews as they could on scene. You can see in those photos, those massive flames, and those are just still pictures. So imagine the video as that, you know, continued to spread there. And then we're talking about the gasoline that was also inside of that car that also fueled this fire. So authorities from local, state, and federal units were there as well as fire officials and now we just have to figure out exactly what was in that car. Um, we was asking one of the investigators if this would be possibly a hazmat, uh, you know, situation at this time. What was in that car? They're not sure. So that's why they're going to call in even more uh, authorities and investigators to see what's next. Well, that's a pretty dramatic picture that we see there. Alexis McAdams, thank you. St stand by. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.